channel if you're new here then welcome 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 my name is Mariana and I'm so happy to meet you so today guys it is December 1st therefore it is the first day of vlogmas so I'm starting off my vlogmas with decorating my Christmas tree this is a six feet Christmas tree I have and it is well I'm basically just here fluffing it out now I'm gonna take some red berries and I'm just gonna stick those in the tree as picks. So next I'm zhuzhing up my poinsettias. Um, I have two white ones, five smaller gold ones and two large red ones now the red ones will be for my tree topper and you'll see that um, as we progress along the video but yeah i'm just as i said zhuzhing up my poinsettias and placing them in the trees to fill in all the empty spaces since my tree is somewhat of an empty tree Next, I have these gorgeous golden leafy type of picks and I'm just, as I did with the berries before, sticking them in the tree to help fill them out. So I showed you guys this gorgeous silver butterfly and on my Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram then what are you waiting for please do follow me at Mariana Baker music um so I showed you that I got these from Kim's way home and I'm just oh, they're so gorgeous you guys they're lovely I have a red one and I have a silver one and I basically just stuck them in the tree so basically at this point, I'm just starting to add all of my large, the largest baubles that I have in my tree. By the way, guys, I completely forgot to mention that my color scheme is actually silver, white, gold, and red. So basically the order in which I decorate my tree, I basically start off with fillers then I take all my large statement ornaments or pieces, I put them in and then thirdly, I take all the smaller statement pieces or ornaments and fill those in and then after that, I decide to put in all the random, well, the regular ornaments just to fill in all the extra spaces. So most of the ornaments that I have or you'll be seeing here in this video, I purchased either from the home store or food basket home store as well and Bright Ideas. I believe those are the three places and the butterflies and the large poinsettias came from Kim's Way Home. I'll have her instagram linked in the description box if i remember and also in the cards up above me look at this gorgeous silver bird cage it is so absolutely gorgeous the light turns on on the inside but i don't keep it on all the time you know only for 
photos and stuff but yeah gorgeous purchased that and these boots from bright ideas i got this gorgeous beaded snowman in a christmas store in ketchikan alaska isn't he just gorgeous So all of these white statement ornaments that you're seeing here, these all came from Bright Ideas when they used to be in West Mall, but I believe they've now moved to Shogunas and there's also one in South. So at this point, I'm ready to put on my tree topper because I'm not quite sure how much um, ornaments I'll need at the top of the tree. So if I start with my tree topper now, then I just need to fill in the rest of ornaments afterwards. So I'm taking these two large poinsettias that I got from Kim's Way Home. I reviewed these on my Instagram stories. So yeah. I love them and I'm just basically intertwining them into each other. Also, I'm taking these gorgeous, gorgeous, leafy-like um, silver picks. I have about 10 of them and I'm basically just sticking them in at the top above my red poinsettias to make my tree look a tad bit taller than it actually is. and well, gorgeous, <laughs> right? So I'm taking the same gold picks that I stuck in the tree to fill in the spaces and I'm now gonna continue with that as part of my tree topper. Well, this will be the final part of my tree topper and I'm just sticking them just below my red poinsettias. So up next, I'm taking this gorgeous glittery red mesh. I have them in strips, basically, and I'm just tucking them in to fill in more of the empty spaces in the tree to make it look more full. And here I'm doing the same thing with this gorgeous white glittery mesh as well. So for the final touches, I am just sweeping any mess that was made around the Christmas tree and then I'm taking this old sheer satiny looking um, curtain and I'm in white and I'm gonna place it under my Christmas tree as a tree skirt. You guys, and this is how it turned out. I am absolutely so happy with the way that it turned out. It's so gorgeous. I can't believe this tree is mine, even though, well, <laughs> it's stuff that I reused from last year. But yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think of my tree in the comment section down below and do let me know what colors you're going with you, with your tree this year and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me and see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye-bye.